Hello, Spoon, it's Tuesday. In an attempt to not become stupid over the summer, I've been reading quite a lot. And the library down the street has this cool online program where you can borrow ebooks or audiobooks online. And while some of the stuff I've been reading is about goddesses from another world who hook up with half man, half horse type creatures, I recently started reading Escape from Camp 14. Basically, it's the story of the only guy to have been born in a North Korean political prison to have escaped from one. I'm about halfway through, and the first part basically talks about his life in the camp. How little food he got, how little clothes he had, how effed up his life was, how he watched his mother and brother die because they tried to escape. And now I'm at the part where he's actually outside of the camp, running away trying to get to China. And the whole thing is a ginormous stroke of luck for him, like, nobody realizes that he's gone yet, he's found clothes, military clothes at that, where pretty much anyone who isn't in the political prison has been a soldier at some point in their life. So I don't want to talk too much about it, and I'll give you the full synopsis of it after I'm done or whatever. But basically, stories like this are really hard for me to grasp and even to think about. Like when we read uh, Ellie Wiesel's Night in ninth grade. Like, how am I even supposed to begin to try to understand what life was like for these people? My question is, am I supposed to feel like I need to do something, or are books like this more to just make me feel more culturally competent and not look like an idiot when I say something that's completely untrue? So at what point are you supposed to look at yourself and say, I need to do something about this, as opposed to just let it be part of your repertoire of knowledge? And it makes me wonder how many of these authors of these books expect something to happen. Like, do they sit down and they're like, yes, I'm going to write about this and it's going to start a movement and the whole world is going to be fixed. Like, obviously that's not their intentions, but do they think that by writing a book it'll make a difference? And it makes me wonder where we're going with our society, because on the one hand, with like the Boston bombings, we came together as a nation and grieved for those people that we didn't even know. Me, us, especially in California, all the way across the country, had no idea. I don't know anyone personally in Boston say for like Bea. And then on the other hand, we celebrate and I idolize people like Justin Bieber. And I mean, that's not to say anything bad about Justin Bieber, but like, his dumb shit is all over the news, whereas the rest of our dumb shit is personal the way it should be. I have spent entirely too long pondering the meaning of life. So that's all I have for you this week. Peace out, and I'll see you on Friday.